Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel Sidus Creations and I believe you all are doing great. Today I'm gonna teach you another sewing project. As you can see, I'm wearing this adorable designer face mask. Today I'm gonna teach you how to create these adorable face mask step by step. You can use any kind of lightweight silk fabric for this project and for backing we're gonna use a hundred percent soft cotton and you can use any kind of lace or embellishment to create more adorable this project you can use a different kind of silk uh, fabrics to create a matching face mask uh, with your dresses if you're new to my channel you're just stopping by you're very warmly welcome and i'm sure you're gonna uh, learn so many cooking sewing and diy projects just go ahead and subscribe so you can get all the further updates related with this channel if you already are regular subscriber i'm sure you already enjoying all the wonderful projects over here so let's go ahead and create these beautifully beauties together so for making these adorable uh, different sizes face mask you definitely first off need a template or pattern i have already shown in my previous video how to make three different sizes of um, face mask pattern okay so i will put a link in a description box so you can easily draw your own pattern for your own size i'm using here a large size so we're going to put this aside and then we need the front fabric which i'm using a lightweight silk it's very adorable shining and then for backing i'm using a hundred percent cotton i already have a cut my both uh, fabric patches you know together and for decoration i'm using this pretty lace if you see this flower lace you can use any kind of lace if you have or just cut a flower from any lace and then i'm using this fabric patch on a side it's optional if you want to use it you can otherwise you can just directly use a flower on the side of your mask okay and also it's optional if you want to make a filter uh, pocket on the back especially with the decorative mask i don't prefer to have a filter pocket because you know you you want to have a breathable you know fabric or enough you know space to breathe and also if you also want to nose bridge you can also add it that i will put all the link on the description box whatever you want to add it but i'm not adding a nose bridge as well okay so let's go ahead and dig into our today project so the first thing which i'm going to do i'm gonna sew these patches on a quarter inch distance our both patches separately okay once I sew them, then I will be back. So as you can see, our both patches are sewed. I also stitched and overlock stitch as well to secure our ending okay so simply we're just gonna iron both patches so we can get a perfectly curved all right now we're gonna flip them inside out and then we will again iron on top of this but make sure your seams go on one direction and press with your fingers All right, so before sewing our both patches together, lining and front patch. So now we're gonna do our first designing part. So any other extra stitch will be on the back of our this fabric. 
so when we will adding our lining so everything will be hide inside not will be on our lining part okay so let's head to our designing part now so we are going to prepare this part for that i just gonna cut off my one flower it's up to you you want to use two flowers you want to use a one flower i will take only one flower okay and as i told you you can either use without the other fabric just to place the you know flower here but i want to use my this white off white patch as well so if you see i already have a folded this okay so we're gonna see the exactly how much space we have needed okay so if i place my flower here then i will have enough fabric to fold inside and add my elastic okay because i can see the dots uh, fabric fr from here so my fabric is still here okay so the first thing i am going to see the length okay and now i'm gonna remove this and then i gonna flip my patch on other side and i am just going to pin up this all right and we are going to top up this okay because after sewing this then i we will have a blind stitch our stitch will be inside so when we will be flipped back over this patch here we have a hide and stitch okay so that's the plan we're just gonna sew on top of this and then it will be back and you know this we have already stitched now we're just gonna flip it and also we are going to iron on top of this so all the stitches could be flatted and nicely pressed just slightly and now now it's time to cut the extra fabric okay so just go ahead and we are just following the top patch okay so the next part we're just gonna hand stitch our flower just on this white fabric okay in that way we can secure all the stitches on a white fabric not on our actual fabric okay so just take your hand needle and matching thread and we're gonna tuck all the net fabric inside of this fabric or if you don't want to do this you can just glue all that stuff and just glue on top of this or hand stuff okay so i just gonna do hand stitch quicker just find the center and the reason why i'm leaving this fabric here because we're gonna tuck this fabric inside to add our uh, elastic loops all right and as you can see it's nicely stitched we're just gonna bring our fabric on the back and simply just gonna secure our thread now 
next thing which we're gonna do just gonna place our backing and top fabric together right side to right side okay and just trying to make sure your top one this is top curve this is very important okay so this is supposed to be on a top like I have a curve here too so they both have to be together but the bottom one is more like you know the like a curvy in a circle okay so these things you have to remember and now just gonna place our both fabrics on top of each other right side to right side and wrong sides are outside okay so first we're gonna patch up our center linings so we know these stitches are in center okay and exactly we are going to do on the back side as well Make sure you're carrying these both layers. Here you have a three layers together. All right, now I just gonna sew from top and from a bottom and we have both sides opening all right so i'm just gonna sew from both sides and then i will be back okay now it's time to flip it and iron our project again that was a very important step because we want all our stitches to be flattened you know that's what gonna bring more neatness to our mask okay so after ironing now the next step is we are just gonna take a quarter inch fold inside for our elastic and also we're gonna iron on top of this as well let's go on the back side we are going to secure our center so they cannot open okay and same thing we are going to do on the other side as well right see that now our mask is ready to add our elastic loops just gonna tuck them inside okay and then we'll sew on this top of uh, back four stitch and then we will sew all around our edges when I will be on doing my white area, I'm going to take out my dark thread and uh, put the white one so I can have a neat look exactly like I have here. You can see I have used a white thread here and the dark thread on the other side. So if you notice I have 
stopped it right here my needle where the white fabric started so i just gonna stop here and do back stitch for securing my thread and then i will leave this side as it is when i will use my white thread then i will sew on that area as well okay so now i'm gonna replace my uh, the dark thread with my white thread to finish dress top project and then i'll be back Thank you so much for watching our today's sewing episode as you can see we have created these beautifully uh, face mask if you're really inspired by our today project please give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel Cyrus creations feel free to share with your family and friends so i can continually hit more subscribers and continually keep sharing more cooking sewing and diy projects i love you all be safe wherever you are and have a fabulous day Bye bye